Friday. Good morning, Internet world. I'm here in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Just started my day a little while ago, just west of here, where we spent the night. Now, last time, or was it last week, we went through Saskatoon. We went the other way. We went around the west side. Now I'm going around the east side here. Mostly because that's where my permit for my oversized load behind me says I have to go. But also because I want to see if this is any faster. I think this way is actually faster than going around the west side, but it's, it's very close. So when I have an oversized load like this, I have to get permits to pull it on the road. Now in Manitoba, my home province, and Alberta, I have a blanket permit. So we pay for the whole year up front. So we don't have to worry about that. But in Saskatchewan, we have to buy one every time. So uh, we have one for Saskatchewan now. And these permits, what they say to you is they tell you which roads you can drive down. They have to, you have to follow the route on the permit. Because uh, if you start going off route and you end up on these tiny little back roads with a big oversized load, you can get yourself into a lot of trouble. So it has to be an approved route. So this is my route going around town here and then down through Regina and then east towards Winnipeg down the Trans-Canada 1. I can't take Highway 2 once I hit Manitoba. I can't take any other road. So that's sort of how those oversized permits work. Now, once I hit North Dakota, the permit I have for North Dakota that I get for North Dakota it says that I cannot drive at night. So a half hour before sunset, I have to, oh no, half hour after sunset or before sunset? I'll have to read it again. <laughs> Around sunset, I have to park the truck and I can't start again until the sun rises. Now in summertime, that's great because the days are so long up north, right? But in wintertime, that can really shorten your day and make you lose a lot of money because the days are so short. So on Monday, I'll be getting my permits for North Dakota, Minnesota, and uh, Wisconsin, because we're going down to Cottage Grove, Wisconsin with this. What is this? Got a police officer here trying to pull this guy over, I think. Oh wait, no, this is a convoy of sorts. What is this? Diesel, take a look at this. What's going on here? Oh, it's a cyclothon. Oh, goody. Well, I'm going to go past nice and slow so I don't blow them off their bikes. Look at this. Wow. This is a bunch of them. Look at them go. Diesel, look at all those guys. What are they doing? Wow. Just giving her. Diesel. What are they doing? Why are they only on two wheels? That's silly. I know, I prefer 18 myself. Well, that was, that was interesting. At least they have police escorts and they're not, you know, just taking up the whole road. diesel this should be the last stop before we get home we're in Brandon Manitoba two and a half hours or so from our yard 
I won't be able to make it to my friend Tyrone's birthday party. It's his 30th birthday. Ah, trucking. Really disappointed because I really wanted to be there for that. But, what can you do? But, we'll be home for tonight and tomorrow and leaving first thing Monday morning with this big tank going to Cottage Grove, Wisconsin. So I'm just pulling into the Husky here. I'm going to park out here in a parking spot just putting that in you know bold letters parking spot because there's a lot of drivers who don't think that they need a parking spot or you know they think they're more important than everyone else and they can just park in the pumps or actually literally park right in front of the truck stop door it happens more often than you'd think so i like to uh create good habits in people that watch my videos and if you drive truck park in a parking spot before you go inside all right it won't kill you to walk across the parking lot all right it really won't kill you believe me i know i've tried some of you could use it <laughs> all right diesel really quick just grabbing a coffee okay really really quick okay we had stopped just about an hour ago for you to go outside, right? So you don't need that right now. I shouldn't even have said that word. Sorry, buddy. But we'll be back at the yard very soon. So then we'll go then, okay? For now, you stay. All right, I'm going to put my hat on. I'm going to go inside, and I'll be right back. All right, I got a new air freshener for in the truck. Bayside Breeze. I already hung it up. It's like a baby blue, like a light blue color here. I always hang it up there. You see it? See if we can get some of the trucker smell out of here. I like having a truck that smells nice. Doesn't always happen, let's be honest. Okay, diesel, let's get out of here. Got everything we need. No more stops until we get to the yard, okay? No more stops, let's give her. Got our beacons on, got our lights on, seatbelt on, let's go. I want to go home. It's taking longer than I wanted to again. I wish this truck could do the speed limit. I'm limited to 100 kilometers an hour. The speed limit's 110. If I could do the speed limit, I'd be home already. I know I keep saying I don't want to talk about the current hockey games going on because by the time you watch this video it's way in the past already but man did we have a good opening first period against the Golden Knights game one wow three goals right off the bat Vegas came back with one so it's 3-1 into the first period I'm listening to it on the radio here Whew! I'm pumped you think it freaks people out if I honk when the Jets score I don't do it if they're right beside me, but if I'm like, I'm out here on the prairies, if I'm all by myself, oh, I'm gonna hang off that air horn every time the Jets score. I'm just saying, you see a random truck flying down the road with a horn blaring, don't worry, the Jets just scored, that's all. Going around the west side of Winnipeg right now, getting kind of excited because we're gonna be home soon. Well, in a couple of hours. But I'm just parking the truck at work, gonna load everything into the car, all my laundry and stuff, and we'll be on the way home. It's the second period right now. Just a little bit of a, a commercial break, so I turn it off to talk to you fine people. You're speeding, miss, with Ontario plates. You are a guest in my province and you are breaking our laws. Not very nice. And here we are, made it home. And it's all blurry. I got a new hat. Britt picked it up for me. There's a new pet store in Steinbach, Best West, so they gave her a free hat when she went and got some dog toys there. Dog toys that Chevy's already destroying. Diesel and Frankie are so careful with their toys, they take care of them and you just destroy them. So violent. But that's it for the vlog, we made it home. Thanks for watching, I'll see you tomorrow.